Ah, you made it. I was beginning to think you were never going to show up. Indeed I am. Heard you might be the person to speak to when it comes to dealing with these sorts of things. The problem is straightforward enough, I suppose. A dragon has been attacking trade shipments throughout the holds. Perhaps you've seen the carriages burning by the roadside during your travels. Contingents of soldiers have already been sent after it, obviously to no success, and we need a solution before this problem gets out of hand. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lorius Lior, and I'm with the East Empire Company. Something upbeat? A Breton jig, maybe? Well, I was thinking maybe something. Because it's our trade shipments that are being destroyed by that dragon. Supplies in the holds are dwindling as it is. No thanks to that Stormcloak uprising and the subsequent rise in banditry. So we've been cooperating with the Jarls to pool our resources together towards funding a solution. A collective bounty of 10,000 gold has been placed on this dragon to pique the interest of skilled mercenaries. From those that answered the call, I have personally chosen four highly proficient mercenaries, and I want you to lead them into battle. Their skills and backgrounds are diverse, because we need to be ready for any challenge that we may be faced with. From those that answered the call, I have personally chosen four highly proficient mercenaries, and I want you to lead them into battle. Their skills and backgrounds are diverse, because we need to be ready for any challenge that we may be faced with. This is no ordinary dragon we're dealing with. It has proven to be very calculating in its attacks, specifically targeting our trade shipments to slowly starve Skyrim from the inside out. Every battle our soldiers have had with it, we've been caught at a disadvantage. It may have a motive that we don't yet understand, and I don't want to risk throwing more Imperial soldiers at it in vain. The team I've assembled have been tracking the dragon from its last known sighting near Falkreath. By now, they should know where it's going. And if we're lucky, we might even be able to take it by surprise this time. That's where you'll come in. There's Aethir, a Redguard warrior from Hammerfell. He used to be Alakir until he took up mercenary work. Danelit, a Bosma archer and the most skilled sharpshooter I've seen. She was recently incarcerated in solitude for... petty theft. A crime against the Thane, from what I hear. I had to pull a few strings with Jarl Elisif to have her released to us. Shargam, an orc berserker from Nazalbur with the strength of at least three of his kind. And Elmira, an Ultima mage with some unhealthy fixations, but highly skilled in the arcane arts nonetheless. I'll mark the rendezvous point on your map. When you get there, speak to Aether. If he's done his job, then he should know by now where that dragon has been roosting. If we're lucky, we might be able to catch that dragon by surprise and put an end to the trouble it's been causing. I wish you the best of luck, Dragonborn. I'll be waiting here for your return. Very well. Take care. Hey there. We should keep moving. Speak to me. All set?
Get them in the game. Death suits you. So, you're the one Loreus asked us to wait for. You're this dragonborn people have been talking about. Well, if Loreus trusts you, then I guess we have no choice. I'm Aether, and this is our little ragtag group assembled by the Empire's coin. I wish we could have met under more favorable circumstances, but I'm afraid we're a little short on time. Good that you arrived when you did. We've been following recent sightings of the dragon in Falkreath Holt. It hasn't attacked Falkreath directly, but its presence is straining trade. Supply shipments through the region have ground to a halt. Seems like they've heard this dragon has a bit of a penchant for them. Why? Can't say for sure. It would make more sense for the beast to hit major population centers. But who knows what their true intentions are. The last witness I spoke to said the dragon had been returning to the same spot in the mountains southeast of Falkreath over the past few days. Ancient's ascent is likely where it's roosting now, but who knows for how long. I suggest we head there immediately. We may be able to catch it by surprise. With you on our side, we might just have a chance of pulling this off. Now come on, we need to move quickly. where you're going. Ready yourself. I got some trouble.
Kendav Balan Vukai. Finally, warriors worthy of combat walk before me. I was beginning to think your champions were all cowards, Kaisar. Varuki Togat Hronga Dovaki. This one surprises me with its Dova Sos. I have heard rumors. Maybe you are worthy of my Narak Nir Gold. It has been a grave for lesser mortals. In your tongue, they call it Worm's Tooth. To the door, it is the Brumlock Strunma. Seek it, Yargol's Walan. And you shall have the battle you seek. Damn it. I can't believe the beast just slipped through our fingers. This isn't gonna go down well with Lorius. You can count on that. You're right. It was probably watching our movements this whole time. It was foolish to think we could just corner it like a wild beast. Seems like the dragon wants us to pursue it to Worm's Tooth. I'm beginning to see why Lurius is involved in this dragon hunt. I'm sure he can explain it better than I can. But for now, we should return to the battered mare and let him know what transpired. You look like you have something to ask me. And I don't think I could convince you not to. So go ahead, ask away. in the field of our own corruption. What are you looking at? My Aorland is the finest blacksmith in Skyrim. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. You're back. I was beginning to think you may never return. I trust you bring good news. I see. Were you at least able to find anything out about why it was attacking our trade shipments? Worm's Tooth. Then it seems that once again that dragon has slipped out of my grasp. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. I manage Stone Hollow, an East Empire Company mining settlement. It's located on the island of Worm's Tooth, to the north of Solitude and the Sea of Ghosts. Our particular dragon was first sighted near the mining settlement, but it never attacked us directly. Not one to let a potential problem fester, 
I brought it to the attention of the Empire, and a legion was dispatched to deal with it. Sadly, they proved to be no match for that dragon. All accounts suggested headed south, to mainland Skyrim. Shortly thereafter, I began hearing reports of East Empire Company trade shipments being burned, with surviving witnesses all describing the same dragon. So I traveled south in pursuit of it, hoping to find a way to put an end to the problem before it had a chance to return. I convinced the East Empire Company to work together with the Jarls to raise a bounty on that dragon, and sent Theodin, my courier, to track down the one person that might give us an edge over the beast. You. My thoughts exactly, but considering what's at stake, that's a risk we'll need to take. Indeed we do. We can't risk this happening again if we let it get away. I'll have a ship ready at the docks in Solitude. Meet me there and we'll set sail for Worm's Tooth. I shouldn't need to remind you that we won't know what to expect when we arrive, so you should stock up on whatever supplies you need before we depart. And don't forget, that 10,000 gold bounty is still up for grabs should we actually manage to pull this off. I am here for you. Okay, let us get back to it. What's up, friend? I've got your back. something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Yes, Thane. What is it? Take a look. Take care of yourself. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Every... Take a look. Do come back.
from, I wonder. My brother said it is dead skin scratched from the arms of the gods. Maybe he was right. I hope not. You talk to Ed Brothers. They just have no one. Red Wave's got another supply run to Good, you made it. I know it's not much, but this ship will get us to Wormstooth in one piece. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll tell the captain to set sail. Just be sure you're fully equipped and stocked up on whatever you'll need before we depart. Great. I'll let everyone know we're ready to set sail. Head below deck and get some shut-eye. It'll take a few hours for us to get there, and we'll need to be fully rested to face whatever is in store. There it is, in the distance. There are trade ships currently moored at the docks in Stone Hollow, so we'll need to dock near Fort Moonwatch instead. It'll be a short trek to the mining settlement. Let's just hope we make it there before anything bad happens. I've spoken with the others, we'll make our way to Stone Hollow. All right, listen up, everyone. That monster is out there on this island. It knows we're here, and it likely has a trap prepared for us. No second chances. No letting it get away this time, or none of us are getting paid. Do I make myself clear? Great. Let's move out.
shotgun. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Imagine how they're going to recover from this. All the lives lost. Find that beast and end it before it has the chance to take any more lives. The locals here speak tales of a vast underground cave far beneath the island. The only place that dragon could have been hiding all this time is down there. I know there's an old Nordic barrow on the eastern side of the island, one of the largest ever discovered. Adventurers go there all the time looking to test themselves, and marauders plunder its steps for valuables even to this day. The ancient Nords used to venerate dragons, right? I know it's a long shot, but there may be a way into the dragon's lair from within. Elmira and Theoden will stay behind and tend to the wounded. There's likely more people trapped under all this rubble. I suggest you follow along with us, but if you want to scout around first, we'll be waiting for you at the Barrow, so don't take too long. Godspeed. Excuse me, my friend. 